traumatic things that we experience, not all, but most of them, and start bringing them out of the dark places that we hid them in, is so that those things cannot be used to hurt you later on. A perfect example, R. Kelly, he was molested, and he never, t he, well, he told people, but nobody believed him. Nothing was done about it. That was a traumatic experience as a child. Mm -hmm. And he pushed it back into a dark place because it was too painful to deal with. And he didn't have anybody to help him deal with it as a kid. Now, granted, time, with time comes along. And he's in this whole situation he's in now where he's going to be in prison until he's probably 90 years old. You see what I mean? But if you can learn how to take your trauma, face it, and either figure out what good came out of it or figure out what good you can make out of it. Once you've done that, that's how you stand in your power and you take your power back. You don't have to know every demon, every spirit, every energy, every entity. You don't have to understand all of that to be able to do this. All you have to understand is that felt like it was sent to hurt me. But me knowing that this life is my own creation, I would never send something into my life to just hurt me. I love myself. So why did I agree to go through this terrible thing? It's got to be for something good to come out of it. That's the question we should ask ourselves when we're faced with trauma or when we're faced with a trial or we're having to try to overcome something or we're faced with a problem, something we worried about. Don't, don't do what we used to do, which was I'm just going to take all that painful stuff I done been through and going through and give it over to Jesus and let him deal with it. It's too much for me. That's your pain. That is your trauma for a reason. Those trials are not sent to kill you, but to strengthen you, to build endurance and to purify you so that you are able to achieve the things your heart desire. So when we were casting that stuff off to Jesus, we weren't even giving ourselves the opportunity to do any soul work to become whole and to find out the areas in your life that, that need healing and that your inner child need healing. We never would have learned any of this because when you got Jesus, there's no need to learn these things about yourself or to learn how to maneuver around these things, to teach your children how to deal with these things. So by doing that, being molested, sexual abuse, every physical abuse, everything that happened in Christian homes, the Jesus character actually was kind of standing guard to protect those secrets and keep them secret. When we got molested, it was like, let's pray about it, give it to Jesus and be okay. But it never got dealt with. So the Jesus entity is like the guard over, over the low vibrational wicked stuff that happens in religion. So now that you haven't dealt with the problem and I grow up and because I stop emotionally maturing at whatever young age that happened to me, now I'm living as if I'm a child still because emotionally and mentally I am. I'm just physically getting older. So I'm attracted to young girls, but it's because of what happened to me. So and when you throw time into that equation, you go from being a victim to the perpetrator. And the only difference between the victim and the perpetrator is time. Time is what caused R. Kelly to become a perpetrator. If he was still a kid, it would not have been perceived the way that it is. And he probably wouldn't have got any jail time if he were a kid with a sexual issue. They probably would have prosecuted the person that molested him. You see what I'm saying? So when you don't deal with your trauma, especially the trauma from childhood and even up into your last few relationships, you are giving a foul with all your information in it and it's like you're handing it to all of the lower vibrational demonic spirits
to go through that file, learn everything about you they can, and figure out ways to sabotage your life, purpose, and calling. But when you take that information and you say, what can I do to make this good? What can, what, no, what good came out of this? Hmm. When you do that, you take your power back. You take that file back from, from the book of life, which is the Akashic Records. It's the same thing. The Bible called it a book of life, but metaphysical, it's Akashic Records, same thing. And you take that file, you take that particular story in your life, and you write your own story. So you don't have to worry about an energy coming and um, taking advantage of that wound. That's the benefits of doing this soul work and learning how to connect with each other so that our inner child can begin being healed and so that the stuff that our heart desire can start actually manifesting. But as long as the heart is, is closed up from, from pain and trauma, whether you remember it or not, as long as that's in there, it's going to block your heart's desires. The, the heart chakra is the gate to the temple. It's the gate to the universe. Everything is through the heart. That's why love is the highest frequency. That's done through the heart. And so if the heart ain't right, the heart is impure. It's got stuff in it. It's broken and cracked. Well, you're not going to have a, a, a healthy source of energy flowing through your heart chakra. Every time you try to be the loving, compassionate person you like to be, something that you ain't dealt with creeps up. Now, all of a sudden, I'm in a very good moment that could be a very good memory that I could be creating. And this little voice creeps up and ruins it. This thought that comes to my mind, you, you're not good enough for her. She gonna leave you one day if you don't get it together. Whatever it may be, and it that it may just it could be an entity, it could be somebody in your family to say something to you, and it's playing over again. But the point is, is is our body is like a library, and and certain things get pulled in the catalog to come to the front, and the files that we don't deal with are the files that need to be dealt with, so that we can take back our ability to write our life the way we were sent here to have it done. That's how you take that back. And a true alchemist is going to take, the. even the Bible says, what was meant for bad was made good for those that love themselves, right? And each other, because we're all bits and pieces of source, of God, of creation, the creator. So for he that loves the Godhood, divinity, it's going to be made good. And for he that is called according to a divine purpose, it's going to be made good. It, that's basic metaphysical spiritual science. Is that everything bad in your life has the potential to give birth to a heart desire that will bring you more joy than anything else. That's the secret. That is the key. And we have to realize when we're in those moments of darkness that it is in darkness that I was created in my mother's womb. It is in darkness um, that plants get grow and their roots go, go down deeper. It is in darkness from which everything that we see and can't see was birthed. What can I do with this dark situation I'm stuck in right now? Let me meditate on it. I'm not going to try to pray it away, meditate it away, call on Jesus. I want to do none of that. I want to work through my own stuff. My soul must have agreed for me to go through this trial for some reason. So let me try to be still and, and within myself and centered so I can get out of this what I was supposed to get out of it. Once you do that, you don't have to keep going through the same thing over and over again. And the reason a lot of us go through the same thing over and over again, because we have not looked in that moment and said, what are you here to teach me? 
what what is it I, I am to get out of this? If you don't do that, you're going to keep repeating it because you wrote your own life. You agreed to your own soul's journey, mission, and purpose. So if you resist the script that you gave yourself when you was in your highest form before you devolved down into 3D, then you're, it's like you arguing with the script. And the script I already wrote to have your best outcome and to give you the best path to that outcome. So now you got to keep it in your head until you finally get knocked into your senses that you know what, I'm going through this for a reason. Let me figure out what that reason is. Once you've done that, you will not have patterns, habits, and bad situations pop up over and over again that will stop happening every time you do something different.